stop buying houses. I know, I know, Noel is a real estate millionaire telling you to stop buying houses, not to buy houses. Yeah, well, there's a lot going on in the economy, a lot going on in the world. I have some great information that I need to share with you right now. Stay till the end because this is a video you do not want to miss. I am sharing everything with you today. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, all you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a big secret that no one is talking about. I'm gonna share it with you today so you understand exactly what's going on in the market. I'm gonna share with you some real insider information as a real estate investor and a real estate agent. I know some things that most people don't know. And last but not least, I'm gonna share with you my real formula on what to do to make money. So there are so many benefits to real estate and to buying houses. So I know that it is a very crazy thing for me to say stop buying houses because when we talk about real estate, we're talking about passive of income. We're talking about appreciation. Obviously, homes go up over time. We're talking about leverage. Obviously, it's very easy to get a mortgage on properties. You're talking to a real estate investor with lots and lots of rental properties. So in other words, I get rental properties. I have mortgages on them. I have tenants paying down the mortgage. The homes are going up in value over time. I sell my rental properties. I cash out and make big lump sums of cash. I also have short-term rentals like air Airbnbs where people are paying $400, $500, $1,000 per night to stay in my properties. So that's excellent income right there. Again, real estate has just so many benefits. So I know that it is very crazy when a real estate multimillionaire tells you, hey, stop buying houses. Well, real estate is still the number one way to wealth, okay? I'm not gonna deny that to you, but things are going a little bit haywire because of some stuff that has happened in the economy. I'm gonna share all of that with you and tell you exactly what to do next because real estate is still really awesome. Whoa, you see, I'm telling you the truth about where the market is going and what is really going on. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you click that little notification bell so you do not miss any of the real truth that I am sharing with you almost every single day. Click that button and share this video. Now let's get back to it. Why the housing market is messed up. Let's talk about that. The housing market right now is a little messed up because of basic economics supply and demand. Yeah, I know I brag about having a master's degree from Penn State in economic development, but this is just basic supply and demand. Let me share with you. So during the pandemic, you know that we were all in quarantine and everything stopped. Well, guess what else stopped? The building of houses. And houses actually take a long time to build. You can't really build a house in a day or a week. It takes months to build a house, even a small house. So while we were all in quarantine and we were not building houses, we were also not building materials to build houses, meaning we need, it to, we need wood, we need tile, we need electrical things. There's lots of things that go into building a house and those things are all being manufactured all the time. Well, when the pandemic happened, manufacturing of almost everything stopped. And it stopped for a very long time. Let's think about that. So for very, very many months, nothing was going on. Then all of a sudden, we have a bunch of people that come out of quarantine, they go back to work, and then the demand for housing goes up. But the supply is down. There isn't a supply of housing because they haven't been building them. People have not been moving out of houses. We have a lower supply. So when we have a high demand and a low supply, we have high prices. This is basic economics. So that is why now, right now, probably when you're watching, is not the best time to buy a primary residence. Now, I'm not talking about investing in real estate. We're gonna get to that later because investing in real estate is completely different than someone that just buys a house to live in. In fact, I think that buying a house to live in is probably one of the dumbest things that you could do with your money but people insist on doing it all the time. So I'm gonna let you keep doing that. But at the same time, you're watching this so you're different. Even if we buy a house, we know that we're gonna live in that house and we're gonna turn that into a rental property eventually. I have people that buy a house, live in it six months a year, turn it into a rental property and get another house. And that's really how you build your wealth. So buying a house for a primary residence is no longer a great investment. Even if you wanted to do it and turn it into a rental property because of some of the things that's going on. Right now, like I said, prices 
prices are up. Until the supply of housing starts to level off, it's probably not the best time to buy a house. Again, I'm a real estate investor, I'm a real estate agent, and I'm a multimillionaire. I have nothing in it to tell you not to buy a house. It's not like you're creating competition for me. I'm telling you this because I love you and you're watching this. Like I said, prices are up. Why would you buy something when it's the most expensive that it can be? As the supply starts to come up with the demand, the prices will level off. The second thing and why it's not a good time to buy a house is because of the interest rates. Interest rates have gone up by almost 2% in the past six months because of all of the inflation that is going on. Again, this will level out over time. I'm saying this, now I am saying this to you kind of in a bragging way. I have a master's degree in economic development, which is not just economics, you know, the theories and things like that. This is really what I studied about applied economics, how it really works in the marketplace. And again, we do have the population, we do have the economy, this will level off and you should be buying a house. It's a great investment, just not right now. Timing is everything. You want to wait till supply comes back up and the interest rates level off. Right now, you're going to be in a situation where the house may not even appraise for the amount that you bought the house for. That's a lot of the situation that people are coming into right now and they're falling into that trap because they're becoming competitive. You do not want to compete with other buyers and see who can pay the most for a house. That is a fool's mistake, okay? That is what dumb people do. Who would compete to pay the most for something? That's not how something works, you know what I mean? You don't wanna just, I'll pay 100, I'll pay 150, I'll pay 200. No, that's crazy. Why not just wait till there's more supply and pay what it's worth that's what you should do. So there you have it. I have given you the full story on what to do and I have a complete training just for you. Go to noellesfreetraining.com. That's Noelle, N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, noellesfreetraining.com. I have created a full complete course where I'm teaching you my formula to investing in real estate with no money, bad credit, the same way that I did. And again, I have students doing it faster than I did. And you can learn this absolutely free. I want to make sure that you have everything that you need to learn. This training is absolutely amazing and teaches you from beginning to end. It was just a little bit too long to put here on a podcast or YouTube, but it's absolutely free to you for you to access whenever you want. Go check it out right now. Noellesfreetraining.com. I just want to make sure you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle to your success.